Welcome to the studio. Look at this beast. Oh my gosh. Today, we are taking a closer look at one of the most impressive 3D printers that we've ever tested here in the studio, the Chidi Plus 4. This machine is not just another boring 3D printer. It is a beast packed with more industrial high-end features uh, like a 370 degree C hot end, a 400 watt heated chamber, and an impressive build volume that's perfect for projects of all sizes from helmets to, to small little trinkets. Whether you're a beginner, uh, a hobbyist, um, or you're running a print farm, there's a lot to like about this machine. And so you'll want to stick around because I'm going to go over all of it and give you my final thoughts, um, as well as what I think Chidi might be up to in the future. Also, for those interested, the price will shock you. Um, and Chidi has some special early bird offers as well. And I'll have details uh, at the end of the video. All right, let's kick things off with what makes the Chidi Plus 4 stand out in the crowded 3D printer market. The heart of this machine is its 370C hot end, capable of handling a wide range of performance materials like PPS, carbon fiber, ABS, PTG, and uh, even other reinforced polymers like glass, carbon fiber, uh, Kevlar, things like that. This hot end doesn't just get hot, it's designed from the ground up for precision and consistency, uh, with Chidi's brand new ceramic throat, uh, making it perfect for both casual users and those who need serious capabilities. Paired with the hot end is the 400 watt chamber heater. Um, it reaches temperatures up to 65 C, and this feature is really a game changer. And we talked about that before with other Chidi machines, but it's really going to allow you to print those tricky high temp materials with minimal warping. And if you've ever struggled with prints that are lifting or deforming on the build plate, this heated chamber will make a world of difference. It's all about creating a stable environment that supports your prints from start to finish. Even with regular filaments, a chamber heater is gonna make a huge difference um, in final print results, at almost negating print warping completely. Okay, aesthetically, the Plus 4 is the cyber truck of 3D printers, I guess if you wanna look at it that way. Um, it's pretty bold, it's very angular, and unapologetically, um, pretty futuristic looking. It has a sleek industrial design, and that, combined with uh, an all metal frame, and I hope I have B-roll of that showing you that, uh, makes it look like it was pulled straight from an 80s sci-fi movie. A lot of machines are looking very similar to this recently, and at first, to be honest, I wasn't quite sold on the look. I think I unboxed it, went, oh. But uh, after a couple of weeks here in the studio, um, I, it's pretty impressive, and it's really grown on me. I'm starting to like it. I think it's the sharp lines and the sheer size of this thing that give it a pretty unique aesthetic that stands out among all the other printers on the market. And I guess we can take that Cybertruck analogy a little bit further with uh, the design of the Plus 4 not being just about looking cool. Um, I would say it probably puts function ahead of form. This machine is solid. Um, it's definitely a two-person printer to move around and every part of its design from uh, the retractable handles to the huge sturdy internal frame, it screams industrial um, innovation and it has like this unmistakable like let's just get to work vibe or presence. It's a machine that gets me excited to print every time I walk into the studio and see it. Now, compared to previous Chidi models, the Plus 4 introduces some significant mechanical upgrades. Um, it features a dual motor drive system uh, with automatic bed tilt leveling, which is gonna help keep prints dimensionally accurate. Um, and of course, it's gonna increase reliability. Uh, no more messing around with manual bed leveling. That's gone, of course. And uh, it has automatic Z offset, so you can start your prints and just walk away. Now, let's talk about belts for a moment. This printer uses some pretty heavy-duty 9mm belts that are automatically tensioned, uh, meaning you don't have to worry about manual adjustments. These belts are not just thicker. Um, they're designed to withstand the high speeds and accelerations that the Plus 4 is capable of. And by high speeds, I mean up to 600 millimeters per second with accelerations up to 20,000 millimeters per second squared. So for comparison, a lot of other 3D printers on the market are using 6 millimeter belts. The build platform is a six millimeter solid aluminum plate. It is heavy duty and designed to evenly distribute heat, which is crucial when working with high temp filaments. Um, even Chidi recommends letting it heat soak for a few minutes when you're warming it up before printing. And from my experience, that little extra patience goes a long ways. The heated bed itself reaches a maximum temperature of 120 C, uh, which is more than enough to handle a wide range of materials uh, without any adhesion issues. 
Now let's dive into connectivity. The Chidi Plus 4 comes with USB, so you can drop files on it, old school with the stick, um, or Wi-Fi and Ethernet options. So you're covered really no matter how you like to set up your uh, your printing environment. The 5-inch HD touchscreen is fast, um, super responsive, and it was easy to navigate. Um, I found the interface to be incredibly intuitive. And everything is right there at your fingertips, and there was no like lag. Everything was pretty responsive. Now using the interface to swap filaments, I found was pretty awesome. One of the best experiences in 3D printing so far. You simply pause the print, unload, reload, and hit resume, and it handled everything just so beautifully. One of the best things about the Chidi Plus 4 is the user experience with their updated Chidi Slicer. Um, it's been fine-tuned to be simple, fast, and, and I think pretty intuitive. I think anyone will uh, like have a pretty good level of success with it. As for profiles, it has a large number of ready-to-go filaments available, but it didn't have one for the PPSCF uh, that they sent me. So I reached out to Chidi directly for a custom profile. Um, they emailed it to me, and the prints were stellar. Uh, PPSCF is a very tough, um, high-temperature material that resists warping, doesn't absorb much moisture and it doesn't really emit harmful toxins while printing it's a pretty unique filament it's pretty impressive um, but it's usually reinforced with glass or carbon fiber because by itself um, it can be pretty brittle when pure and uh, with those additives it's pretty amazing stuff which is probably why it's become so popular all of a sudden now I wanted to test the capacity of the machine, like its build volume, so I printed a Star Wars Bad Batch Wrecker helmet, but I didn't do it in regular filament. I did it in Polymaker's PPS CF, and uh, this print well, wasn't just a quick test. It was a full-scale commitment, and it took almost uh, two spools of filament, uh, each costing around $70. That's an expensive project, expensive little test, about $140, and it took about a day and a half, but the result was worth every penny. Uh, the helmet turned out amazing which uh, is, I'm super impressed. And it, look at this incredible like surface quality, the detail. Um, now there was some slight discoloration um, about halfway up the helmet. And that was because I used two spools of filament um, that were like months apart as far as like ordering. And uh, I think that discoloration may be caused uh, maybe by filament batches, different colors, or it had to do with maybe some might, like some slight moisture differences maybe. But anyway, I think it turned out fantastic. Look at it. Oh, and I think I could have probably uh, had an extra top layer. Um, it looks like it got right to the crown of the helmet. And uh, yeah, it could have been a little cleaner up there. But that's not a printer um, or a filament problem. Uh, that's me. I should have sliced it and added one more top layer, knowing that the crown on the helmet was like that. Now, I also spent some time printing and tuning some battleship benches in Chidi's PPSCF. Now it's pushing the printer with temperatures ranging from 330C to 370C. These little prints were not just fun, they were a great way to dial in settings and just see how the material behaved at different temperatures. And what I found was that of course at 330C, um, layer adhesion just wasn't quite the same as it was at 350C. And 370C was dang hot. I don't even, do you know how hot that is? 370C on a hot end is nuts. And the doors that this opens for potential materials is incredible. And that we get this in a machine at home, it's crazy. And let's not forget that Chidi also sent me over some glass-filled ABS, and these are some awesome, striking purple and green prints, and uh, the colors are vibrant, and the print quality was absolutely perfect. Um, the profiles for uh, these uh, ABS glass-filled uh, filaments uh, that Chidi included knocked it out of the park. So it was literally just select the filament, load the filament, hit print, just fantastic experience. This is going to make an incredible prototyping machine. I just know it. Um, I can already see it sitting in labs and workshops, and the enclosure is going to keep dirt and dust and debris out of it, and the activated charcoal filter here in the back, the top back, um, is going to help reduce odors. Now, it's not particularly loud with the doors and lid closed, um, so that won't really be a concern for home or office use, but you did know it was running. So um, I would say if I had to compare it to other printers, I would say it kind of falls in the medium uh, sound range. I also printed a couple of carabiners to just see how flexible and rigid the PPSCF is. They turned out as close to perfect as I think that you can get. In fact, if you want to see me test these, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I was thinking of connecting a couple of toe straps to one of these carabiners or a couple of them and, uh, I don't know, towing a truck and we'll just see how it holds up. Physically, the Chidi Plus 4 is a giant machine. Um, it measures at about 505 millimeters 
by 487 millimeters by 550 millimeters. It's a tank. So uh, this printer is going to need some space, but it makes up for it with its impressive capabilities. To help moving it around, Chidi has smartly included two retractable handles built right into the top. Um, it's little touches like this that show that Chidi is thinking about the user experience from every angle, especially for us content creators that have to move these things around. Like this thing's been moved like 20 times. Now the door in the litter glass and uh, with the super bright internal LED lights, uh, the view inside the printer is gorgeous. Um, now that's great for you at home when you're just watching your prints, but for us filming, oh man, it makes for some really great shots when we're filming. Now the printer also comes equipped with a filament cutter on the tool head and a nozzle wiper, making filament changes quick and clean. And add to that, a filament runout sensor and a tangle detection sensor. Right, And now you've got a printer that's not just powerful, but it's also incredibly reliable with things like that. And for those who like to keep an eye on their prints, the HD camera is there for remote monitoring and time lapses. Um, I think it's kind of a fantastic, fun little addition. Um, it's perfect for catching those time lapse shots uh, and sharing them on social media um, or just checking in on a long print without needing to be in the room. One of the standout aspects of the Chidi Plus 4 is its broad appeal. This is one of the first machines that I've seen here in the studio that's really designed for everyone from beginners to seasoned hobbyists and even print farms um, or prototyping environments. It's, it's, like, it's like a beginner slash industrial 3D printer. It's incredible. With its wide material compatibility, including PLA, ABS, ASAs, PETGs, TPUs, polycarbonates, and reinforced polymers, it's a machine that can do everything. And here's something that I think we should all keep an eye on. The way this machine purges filament out the back and incorporates a filament cutter into the tool head suggests that Chidi might be paving the way for multicolor printing. I don't know. It's clear that Chidi is definitely innovating, and I wouldn't be surprised to see even more advanced features in future models, or maybe upgrades for this one. So what's the bottom line? The Chidi Plus 4 is without a doubt one of the most impressive 3D printers that I've tested. Um, it's versatile, reliable, um, it's packed with tons of features that cater to everyone, like I said, from beginners uh, to experts. And Chidi isn't just following, they are leading and doing amazing things in our space, and the Plus 4 is a prime example of their commitment to quality and innovation. A lot of 3D printers are kind of going the same way, right? So they're simplifying, they're like, they're cutting costs, they're shrinking. Chidi is going a completely opposite direction. They're taking high-end industrial features and I don't, they're not even cutting corners. They're just somehow finding a way to bring these uh, to our market for like home and office. This is incredible. For those looking to get one, the Chidi Plus 4, are you ready? Is expected to be priced around unbelievable when they email me this price. $799. That is, blows my mind. Um, but anyway, um, if you do order uh, between, I think, September 20th, um, which is the day this video gets released, and the 27th, so about the first week, you'll receive an early bird gift, um, and you can choose between a tungsten carbide bimetal nozzle um, or a bimetal hot end. Um, and they said just to note that due to shipping logistics, the gifts will arrive separately, um, and they could be a couple of months after um, the uh, release of the machine. Okay, now think about this machine for a moment. Drop a comment below um, at any comparable machines that are enclosed with heaters and a hot end that can reach 370C that are priced at $799. I don't think that you can. Um, this is a crazy good machine at an incredible price point. As for negatives, I really hate how people throw in some low hanging fruit negative just to appear unbiased, right? So it's like, I've got to say 10 good things, but I better say three bad things for people to, to think that I'm being fair. Um, it's like complaining about like the location of a spool holder. Um, and I don't really think that people make a decision on a 3D printer based on where the spool holder is. I mean, it's just a spool holder. You can move it um, or just have a different one. I am a total realist when it comes to these 3D printers and looking at them. And uh, if something was terrible, um, or unusable, I would definitely share it with you. And uh, after using this machine uh, for months now, off and on, I can't think of a single thing that stands out to me as something I would have changed. In fact, uh, Chidi uh, emailed me several times asking for feedback, and all I could say was, this is just so impressive. That's all I could say. I didn't have any really big constructive items uh, that I would change. Um, I think that 3D printers are coming out fast, they're coming out furious, uh, features are changing, they're getting better, um, and I'm just excited uh, to see what else is coming. Now, what do you think about the Plus 4? 
Let me know in the comments below if you think 3D printers um, like this machine are moving in the right direction, or do you want to see something else? In fact, if, if there's a criticism that you can see, let me know. Um, Chidi's going to read the comments, and they'll read it. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll never miss an update uh, with new videos as I post them. And uh, let me give a huge thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters uh, for your continued support. I couldn't do this without you. Thanks for watching. That was someone playing with my uh, lights there uh, on Twitch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So good. Look at that. <sighs> And uh, I'm going to include some B-roll in the middle here um, as I pop off the supports. So you'll be able to see that. Um, you, matter of fact, you'll be seeing that before you're seeing this. So, yeah. <sighs> Such a fun machine. Really cool. Anyway.